Inline engines are the most commonly used engines in production cars. Inline engines can use layouts with three, four, five, and six cylinder engines. As you can expect, uh, the six cylinder engine inline six is the most balanced and the best of all. However, inline engines have problems with balancing and noise. However, inline engines have problems with balancing noise and vibrations. An inline engine with the same displacement and characteristics as a V engine with the same displacement would produce more torque. The reason why it's the most manufactured engine throughout the world is because it has a cheap maintenance and production costs. V-shaped engines are used in cars which have bigger engines and are focused on performance. It's much easier to balance a V engine by using counterweights. The best V engine that you can find is the V8. V engines reach much higher RPM compared to an inline engine. However, a V engine is not always the best choice. For instance, an inline 6 is much better compared to a V6. V engines can have 6, 8, 10 or 12 cylinders. Having more than 12 cylinders would require a W shape, which we'll discuss later. Generally, manufacturers don't use more than 6 cylinders in a row because it would require to design a much longer crankshaft and it would be subjected to bending, which would eventually destroy the engine. What I don't like about inline engines is that they have small displacement. The Boxer engine is the best engine in terms of comfort, noise and balancing. They use natural balancing, so you don't need any counterweights to equilibrate the engine. Boxer engines can be found in two, four or six cylinders. Porsche and Subaru use Boxer engines and I think Ferrari use it in their V12 flat engine. Just as inline engines, boxer engines can't have more than 6 cylinders in order to run properly. It's not impossible to design such an engine, but it will be incredibly expensive and complex to achieve this. W-shaped engines can have 8, 12 or 16 cylinders. An example for that would be the Volkswagen Passat with, which had a W8 engine, Audi A8 had a W12 engine and the mighty Bugatti Veyron has a W16 engine. V engines can have more than 12 cylinders or 6 cylinders in a single row. So by using a W shape we can use more cylinders on the same crankshaft. W shape engines are inefficient and complex to design. What engine should you get? In my opinion an inline 4, inline 6 or V8. Inline-4 and inline-6 engines deliver the best performance and fuel efficiency for the price that you pay. The average driver wouldn't need more than 200 brake horsepower, so having an inline-6 would be the best choice. If you want more than that, a V8 should be the right choice. Inline engines can be disposed lengthwise and crosswise. Generally, engines disposed lengthwise are focused on performance. By displacing the engine lengthwise, uh, a better weight distribution is achieved. Also, there's more space for fitting a performance suspension such as a double wishbone. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.